Del Benson Saipan. Still here for those who wonder. But then many of you who are friends that follow me, you see all my grandkid pictures or you see some of my posts. I have a friend that didn't understand some of my posts and find, I guess, I'm a contradiction to what she sees me as. And to be fair, so I thought, let me explain myself. I do it much better in person. So this is my in-person versus written. I mean, family is a, a very critical part of my life. Um, right now, my world revolves around grandkids. Uh, many of you see the posts. It's fun. So I look for a better world for my grandkids and worry about what's ahead. Uh, I look at liberty. I believe in liberty. I believe in freedom. I believe in liberty and freedom for you, not just for me. Um, I believe in freedom of religion. And we can respect each other's religion. Maybe we don't have to agree with it, else we'd be the same religion. Also, if you look to the liberty side, there's the free speech side. I'm a big boy. You can offend me. Now, I may not like it. I may block you. I may not want to have be friends with you. But I'm not shutting you down to talking to me. Um, in fact, on my Facebook, I've had a lot of stuff that's gone on that I didn't delete. I did ask the language. If it's my Facebook post, if you if you want to have a post remain, that you can call me names and insult me a certain amount, uh, which I've let people do, but don't use foul words. Um, and others I have blocked because of vulgarities or just hateful and anger. And I thought, you know... I don't, I'm not shutting them down. I'm just saying they don't have to come on my page any different than me commenting on theirs or in person. Um, I can turn and walk away and I don't have to engage in somebody who doesn't like me and what I stand for. And that's fine. I don't expect someone to have to like me. That should go universal. Um, whether... You don't like me because of my size, my skin color, or my religion. You have that choice. I'm not going to take that away from you. No different than I want others to take that away from me. And so I get really kind of tired of this. Everything has become personal offense. And it shouldn't be. If you're not trying to offend somebody, why take offense to it? And be able to communicate is the challenge. So part of that in the speech arena is going back to the liberty. Um, I don't want to come into your bedroom, so don't invite me into your bedroom. Um, I, wouldn't, I don't mind having religious dialogue. I don't mind at all being disagreed with because I disagree too. So, I mean, so it's, it's, a, it's a mutual thing. And you can have a mutual respect and disagreement. I have a... Uh, a, a fellow lives back east that used to live here and we've had a lot of dialogue to understand racial issues and so on um, the same with issues of of the president and the vice president and and so on around the world um, I think we need to be able to have conversations and disagree but to immediately we, we can disagree agreeably just like with our kids, we want them to be respectful, but you know they can disagree with us. It's how they do it. And that was one of the things I was taught by my parents is, is the respect side of it. Uh, unfortunately, today, civil conduct is, is really bad. And it's, it's sad how pathetic it's gotten that you are labeled as a hater if you disagree with me. Well, let's look at some basic principles of human decency. We disagree on a point. Okay, we can have a conversation about it. We can try and beat each up or over about it, or we can agree to disagree. Um, you may not understand at all where in the world I'm coming from. You don't understand. You think I'm crazy and nuts, and that just isn't... Well, if 
feelings mutual, but we can still get along. Uh, we can still get along. And that's the key is being able to get along and being able to have this dialogue during the contentious time. But you can't have a civil discourse when all you do is sit and lie and and call names and disrespect. That's not a dialogue. Uh, unfortunately, in our society, we have gotten very low in that department. And it's a mutual problem. It's not a one-sided problem. There's this tendency to point fingers. And depending on your point of view, you're going to point the finger the opposite way. But if we can be honest and look at it and say, okay, what are the issues? What do we disagree on? Why are you attacking me or calling me names based on little mental information? Um, you're accusing me of a racist because I'm merely white. <laughs> I'm telling you that is. Uh, I've been taught that you love all the human race. In fact, where I live, those of you who are in Saipan and those who are not from Saipan know that the Halleys were only like 1%. So my life is dealt with other groups. But yet here I'm still classified as a minority because, I mean a majority because I'm a white male from the United States and it's all lumped in the United States, even though the Pacific Islanders are the majority. But I really don't care. I don't sit and look at that. I mean, I got friends of all flavors and I like that. I prefer that. And when people talk about diversity, it is not of thought. I believe it's great to have diversity of thought and flavor. When I say flavor, I mean, it's like, you know, my daughter-in-law who's Chinese. We, my grandsons, they're my little Chinese boys. They are the dearest little boys. And I love when they speak Chinese and I love the food. And I, we engage in things of commonness, not one of dissent and disgust and fight and argue. I mean, we do that too much as Americans, but our strength in America has been the, the unity of the Constitution and coming together with a common goal and purpose. But that's being supplanted now. The Constitution is, is in question in every corner now. And, and people are accusing, uh, that's not constitutional, you're violating the Constitution, no one is above the law. All this flap that goes back and forth. Let's be honest. We've got to be honest. Honest doesn't mean, hey, Dell, you're fat. <laughs> well, if you have to point that out to me, somebody might be short-witted if it's not apparent to me already. Um, but why, why do we go there? We can have, you know, my dearest buddy Matt, he had a very different view than I did. But we were very dear friends. Great respect and love and admiration. And that's what we need to do. I'm going to continue on a few posts. I don't want to pound this on too much. But I want you to have liberty and freedom of choice. 